Highlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Welcome to Far Harbor, mateys. In today's bite-sized lore video, we'll be exploring the legend of the Red Death. If you guys are interested in Fallout lore, then make sure you like this video and subscribe. I'd super appreciate it. I plan to eventually make this channel a one-stop encyclopedia of all things Fallout, and I have a video planned for every other day of the week. So let's get back to the harbor. Far Harbor is a major expansion for Fallout 4, introducing a new area to explore off the coast of Maine. The setting is in a dense, foggy island known as The Island, which is home to the town of Far Harbor and several other settlements. The island is shrouded in a mysterious radioactive fog that has mutated the local wildlife and poses a constant threat to the inhabitants. The town of Far Harbor is a small, tight-knit community that relies on fishing and trading to survive. The people of Far Harbor are tough and resilient, having adapted to every harsh condition of the island. The town is led by Captain Avery, a strong and pragmatic leader who is fiercely protective of her people. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. The island is also home to the Children of Adam, a religious cult that worships radiation and believes that the fog is a manifestation of their god. The Children of Adam are led by High Confessor Tectus, a charismatic but dangerous leader who is willing to do whatever it takes to protect his followers and further his beliefs. We'll explore many parts of the island in many other videos, but today we're going to focus on the legend of the Red Death. In the mist-shrouded waters off the coast of a remote island whispers a dread echoed among sailors. They spoke of the Red Death a fearsome sea creature with glowing red eyes whose haunting gaze lured ships to their doom on the rocky shores. Legends told of the Red Death's insatiable hunger for ships, its glowing eyes piercing through the thickest fog, drawing curious captains to their final voyage. Many ships had met their end on the jagged rocks surrounding Red Death Island. Their crews lost to the depths below. Despite the warnings, some dared to venture near the island, unable to resist the allure of the mysterious red glow. But the Red Death was not what it seemed. Hidden beneath the surface, a secret lay waiting to be discovered. If someone were to seek out the creature for themselves, they would have to seek out the Mariner, a shipwright and a landowner of Far Harbor. She will regale us with tales of the beast and ask the sole survivor to join her in a quest to defeat the monster. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? Reason and sense keep steering you clear. What's on your mind? You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death may have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves, only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale, but no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones, they know there's something out there. Is there any evidence the Red Death is real? When I was a little one, I went sailing with my aunt. Fog rolled in thick and fast, and we saw it. Glowing red, crimson, an unholy light that stretched to the sky. My aunt was no fool. We rowed to shore with all our might. Tide made it hard, but we hit landfall. Yeah, I suppose the Red Death could exist. Good. An open mind. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? How do we go about this hunt? No one's encountered the Red Death up close and lived. But many folk have seen its blow from afar. I've been collecting the details of those sightings for years. We take our boats, and I can get us there. I know it. But it could be the deadliest challenge we ever face. So I'll understand if you pass. Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. Others like Avery from the town will tell you that the search is a waste, that the creature is mythic only. But you know better, including the lone survivor. 
They must stop these atrocities that this creature is committing. We need you. Please, turn back. The hull's strong, and one more rifle won't make a difference. Mainlander, if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose you both. Do you really think it's dangerous? Every now and again, some fool goes hunting for the Red Death. Sometimes they come back empty-handed, but more times than not, that's the last they're heard of. The hunt for the Red Death has taken its share of drunks, but it's also taken the lives of our mightiest men and women. Please, don't throw your life away. Consider your warning delivered. If there's nothing I can say, good luck. So the lone survivor boards the boat, and the odyssey will begin. Onwards to Red Death Island. You read me, Mainlander? I plotted a safe course for your boat. Don't tamper with it. The shoals near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. I'll catch up to you. Much further, Mainlander. When Auntie Stacy told others of her brush with the Red Death, they laughed at her. Then, two weeks after, a full fishing boat never came back. From the beach, they saw the glow on the horizon. I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Wrecks all around it. There. See it, right? Meet you there and get prepared. Then you see it, the blood red eyes in the distance. The beast is real, devouring the ships and the souls of all those that would dare get a closer glimpse. The lone survivor boards the island and begins to search with the mariner. The beast could be lurking among any corner, waiting to strike. If you think a Myrler Queen is a monster of the sea, then you know this will be an epic battle. Closer. And here it is, the legendary Red Death. The smallest Myrler in all of Fallout 4, but with some very impressive red eyes. It does look rather interesting with its blacks and reds gleaming from its shell. I suppose it turns out the legend is still in fact true, Sailors would surely be led right to these eyes in curiosity, but in doing so, they would find themselves wrecked among the shore's stony rocks. What happens to the Red Death is left to the sole survivor. They ultimately end up offing the small thing, so that no one else in the future would wreck. The Mariner finds herself ashamed and embarrassed. It can't be. That? That's the Red Death? Are you sure this is it? It's got to be... The red glowing eyes. I mean, when the fog's thick, that little fella is deadly in his own fashion. The shoals around here are treacherous. A middling captain with a might of curiosity would run aground for certain. And this far from shore? That'll end you. Looks like you achieved your goal. <laughs> there it is. My whole life, I've been having nightmares about a little Myrlurk? <sighs> what do we say to all the folk back home? If we tell them the truth, we'll be a laughing stock. Would it really be that big of a deal? You've no idea how pig headed and relentless harbor men can be. Or maybe you do. The story will be told for generations. It never pays to lie. Easy for you to say. You don't have to live with those louts. Ugh, let's go. I thought I got this for you to celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. She can't believe that this is the beast of legends. After completing the quest, the Mariner rewards the sole survivor with a unique fisherman's outfit called the Legend of the Harbor. She then seeks advice on what to tell the townspeople about their encounter with the Red Death. Options include telling the truth, embellishing the story, or claiming they couldn't find the creature at all. The Mariner will agree to follow the suggested story. 
Upon returning to Far Harbor, the sole survivor is either mocked for telling the truth, admired for embellishing, or mildly disappointed for claiming the Red Death couldn't be found by the townspeople. They're here! They're back! Did you find it? Did you end the scourge of the seas? So, uh, we set sail, and we found, uh, the Red Death. It was a mire look. A bit, uh, smaller than we expected. So as big as one of the queens? Well, smaller than that. What? Like a giant hunter? Them's big too. With huge claws. Well, no. So how big are we talking? A bit huh? bigger than a back. dog. A dog? The, the Red Death is a tiny little crab? <laughs> oh, 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 well then. I'm glad you brought the mainlander. Otherwise, you'd be dead for sure. You need a mini nuke? Or three? <laughs> Big game. <laughs> I knew it. This tale has probably been around Far Harbor for decades, lingering on the minds of the poor sailors and their families. But now, it seems the legend can be put to rest. Thank you for watching this video so far. I genuinely appreciate anyone watching my videos. If you did want to like the video, it would help me out a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Twitter or X at I am Fantasy Sci-Fi to stay up to date with what I'm working on next. I'll see you in the next one.